Welcome to my Friday MLB Picks, where I've got four potential wagers to discuss with you. I'm Professor MJ, holder of a PhD in statistics. Up first, we have two different teams fitting under the blowout number two betting strategy, which recommends betting against a team that won its previous contest by a margin of at least seven runs if they are now facing another opponent. In their last game, the Pirates destroyed the Tigers 8-0. Since they are indeed playing a different squad today, we are being suggested to fade Pittsburgh. And therefore, the first system pick for today, May 19th, goes to the Arizona Diamondbacks. Do I view it as an official pick, a lean, or should we avoid it? To me, the latter seems to be the better option. Why? The money line on Arizona is very low, so this must feel like a very safe bet in order to pull the trigger. In my humble opinion, it's not the case. Both teams have a similar record and a similar run differential. Arizona is on the road. Sure, Zach Gallen is having an exceptional season, but it does not seem impossible to me that his counterpart, Johan Oviedo, could stay toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. He does not have great numbers overall, but he's had four games where he allowed either zero or one run. I simply don't believe it's worth taking the risk. Let's now bring up our attention to another team that won its past game by a margin of at least seven runs, the Boston Red Sox, who dismantled the Mariners 12-3. Given they are facing a new opponent, then by virtue of the blowout number two betting angle, we should put our money on their opponent, the San Diego Padres. Again, is this a pick, a lean, or an avoid? You guys know I'm not a huge Blake Snell fan. However, I have to admit he's doing a fine job at trying to turn the corner. He now has six straight starts in which he surrendered either two or three runs, which is very fine. Snell will be up against James Paxton, who has one start in 2023, one start in 2022, and five starts in 2021. The oft-injured starter did a great job against the Cardinals seven days ago in his lone action of the current season, but he certainly represents a big risk here. In the end, I'm rating it as an official pick. It all comes down to motivation. The Padres know they must play with urgency after such a slow start to the season, and the Padres held a closed-door players-only meeting. This series against Boston had been circled on their calendar for a while after signing free agent Xander Bogarts to a huge contract. With a pretty reasonable price, give me San Diego to get the job done today. The next two system picks are supported by the Pummel Pitcher strategy. This is basically a contrarian approach that recommends betting a team that has allowed many runs in recent games. That is certainly the case of the Mariners, who squandered 12 and 9 runs in their past two games. Seattle represents my third system pick for today, but let me discard it quickly. Their money line around plus 130 is not high enough to me. They're playing the Braves, who are significantly better than, head, than them, and I'm not convinced that Bryce Miller's fairy tale season will continue today. He has allowed just one run in three starts, but I would not be surprised if he got shelled for four or five runs today. Also, he has faced the Tigers, the Ace, and the Astros which are not necessarily the best offenses in the big leagues. The Chicago Cubs represent my fourth system pick for today, as they will be playing in Philadelphia, 
in a matchup of a couple of struggling teams. Chicago has lost its past five games, while the Phillies are undergoing a four-game losing skid. These teams have a similar record, but Chicago has a plus 22 run differential, compared to minus 29 for Philly. Also, the Cubs have the most reliable pitcher in Marcus Stroman, while Ranger Suarez may not still be in top form by making just his second start of the season. Stroman is coming off his worst outing of the season, so he'll want to bounce back. His 1.18 whip statistic this season is very solid. He owns a 2.45 ERA in 10 career starts against the Phillies. Chicago has won the past six meetings between these two organizations. So yeah, give me the Cubs as my second official betting play for today in Major League Baseball. I invite you to watch my top pick in the NBA for tonight's game, number two of the series between the Miami Heat and the Boston Celtics. Click here to view it, my friend.